Hi, I'm Danielle Scow, your Pamper Chef Consultant, and today I am going to be featuring the Deep Covered Baker. It is one of my favorite Pamper Chef products and probably the most excited my hosts and guests get at any cooking show is when I show them how you can cook frozen chicken in the microwave and it turns out just as juicy and tender as if it had been cooking in the crock pot all day or if you had baked it in the oven. So you can also do this in Pampered Chef's rock crock pan, which I also am obsessed with. They do the same thing in the microwave, but today I'm going to be doing it with the deep covered baker. So one of my number one problems when I'm making dinner is that I never remember to unthaw my chicken the night before, ever. So then when I need to make my meal, I'll pull out the frozen chicken, and if you unthaw it in the microwave, it starts cooking it and it gets gross. So I never like to unthaw my chicken in the microwave to bake or use. But with the deep covered baker, you can cook it in the microwave, frozen or raw, and it will turn out perfect. So here's my frozen chicken, as you can see. And I'm just gonna throw it in here. I don't need to put water, I don't need to put anything in here. I'm gonna put some seasoning because I'm going to be making a Chipotle chicken dip for the Super Bowl tomorrow. And, um, the recipe is on Pampered Chef's website. It's so yummy. So I'm gonna be using the Chipotle rub to put on it, and that's all I'm gonna put in here. So I'm going to put my frozen chicken right in the deep covered baker. As you can see, that is frozen, solid. And then I'm going to use my measuring spoons. The reason why I like these measuring spoons better than any other measuring spoons is because of the way that they are angled. They fit perfectly into your bottles. All the other ones are like that are round don't fit. So I like it because it fits perfectly in. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this Chipotle rub over the top of my chicken. And then you just put the lid on and Depending on your microwave, how big the chicken is, how frozen the chicken is, is gonna depend on how long you cook it. I'm gonna put this in for 15 minutes and then check on it, and we'll see how it's doing and if we need to add a couple more minutes. I'll see you back in 15 minutes. Okay, the 15 minutes is up. I'm going to use my microwave grippers. I love these for when you just need to get something out of the microwave quick that's hot and you don't have to like roll your sleeve and try to pull it out that way, which I do all the time before I got these. So the 15 minutes is up. I don't know if it's gonna be done, but we're just gonna check on it. I feel like this is a good checking point. So we're gonna check on it, see how it is, but I want you to notice as I take this lid off how juicy it is in there. Remember, we did not put any water, we did not add any liquids to it. So this is just the moisture from the pot. Look at that. So now I'm taking my, these are called the salad choppers, but I use them for chicken probably more than salad. I'm gonna be doing a whole nother video on these later. But we're just gonna cut into it. And as you can see, that was not enough time it's raw, but I'm going to cut it so that it can cook a little bit faster because these were really, really big pieces of chicken. Okay. Okay, and now I'm just gonna put it in for five more minutes and that probably will be all it needs. And remember to use the microwave grippers because this is hot after being in the microwave that long. Okay, it is going to be ready, I'm sure. <laughs> we'll see. But I just want you to notice as we cut into this how juicy this chicken is. It's not dried out, it's not gross, it's super moist. And remember, this was frozen chicken. Okay, so now I'm going to, is definitely ready. So I'm gonna take it, these are our tongs, the Pamper Chef tongs, I love these because they're locked. And then when you want to use them, you just point them down and they open up. So we're gonna take the chicken out. Look at all that juice. Remember, we did not put any liquids in this pan. This is why I'm saying it's just like cooking it in a crock pot with the moisture. 
Okay, now we're gonna take the chicken over here. And I'm gonna use my salad choppers again, and I just want you to see how moist it is. And okay, and then also let's talk about how amazing these salad choppers are for chopping your chicken. Look at that. And now you can use this chicken for whatever. I'm using it for my dip, but this could be perfect for enchiladas, if you want to do tacos, whatever you're using your chicken for. And it tastes amazing. So that is frozen chicken in the deep cover baker cooked. Oh, a big piece of chicken cooked in the microwave. Thank you for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I need a good thumbnail. Should I really say that without a big hunk of chicken in my mouth? No, that was more raw. Was okay. The people want not raw. That's what they want. Okay, that's the end of that video. I need to shoot the thumbnail though. What do you mean the thumbnail? For the video. Oh wait, you you should have custom thumbnails now on your channel. I don't know what thumbnail means. The picture that makes people want to click on your video. Oh yeah, you made mine like this. Well, I had to because you didn't have custom thumbnails at the time, but you should have them now. I don't even know what that means. What do you want me to do? Hold up the deep cover baker. It's hot now. Oh. Well, when it cools, we'll have to get one. Okay. Really going to town on that chicken. Well, it needs to be little for the dip. Okay. Okay, new video. Isn't vlogging fun? Mm -hmm. Should we do the next video? Yes. Action shot. Action shot. Do it again. Honey, weirdo. This is what. So I will bring it over here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, open it up, assistant. <laughs> I need a third arm. Why'd you put a five on it? I'm weird and like to end things with five. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> now what? Okay, now you wait. Stop it. <laughs>